everybody, it's Kelly and I'm back with another layout and today is another two page layout obviously by the title. So I am scrapbooking these photos of my granddaughter and she was staying overnight with um, her other or one of her other grandmas and they had some fun together so I'm just documenting that. She's, um, I don't remember if my daughter-in-law posted this or if she did but I like to make sure I get the time with other grandparents um, in the albums as well not just the time with me. So she's wearing that um, dark kind of like purple shirt. And then um, also she has um, that striped shirt on as well too. So she's got two different outfits there, but they're, the one on the left is really dark. So I wanted to use some darker papers with this. So I went to the Paige Evans Pick Me Up collection, the 12 by 12 pad. So that's where both of these are from. It's from that particular pad, both the floral paper and the, um, well, actually all three of them, the floral paper, the floral paper and the um, pink dot paper from the paper pad that paper that you saw me mount the photos on kind of the ombre stripe paper that is the Paige Evans pick me up number 24 paper and then I'm just using a border strip or was thinking about using that border strip from the paper I actually put that aside forgot about that so now I'm looking to see if I can figure out what kinds of embellishments I want to add to this And I'm looking at um, the American Crafts Thickers for Pick Me Up uh, called Happiness, um, Lovely, Happiness and Lovely Day. But they're from the Pick Me Up collection. You know, they still name them. Kind of pulling some elements off there, thinking that I, you know, trying to figure out what I might actually use on the layout. Sometimes I'll do that. You know, and you often see me put it on the right side of my mat. Um, just to make sure that I don't forget to use them. And I'm also looking at some sticker books there. I'm looking at die cuts here. So these die cuts that I'm looking at and cut aparts are from the Paige Evans Whimsical and Pip Pick Me Up collections. And I have them all mixed together, so I can't tell you which is which, but they're, they come from those two collections. After I use quite a few elements up, I'll put them together just as, so if for colors that go together. So like these, this is, these are like fall collections here so I, I keep them in these photo boxes so they're in a photo box for that from Michaels and then those go into a case that they actually sit in so then I'm looking at like using that the um, die cut there of the clock to me that sort of represents the time she's spending with her grandma and then that piece that says oh so much fun will become the title I'm not sure exactly what that's going to look like yet I'm still obviously playing around with how I'm going to what pieces I'm going to use and then what I think these are mm, I was going to say I think they're pick me up but they might not be I shouldn't say that because I don't know for sure it's just the colors look very similar to what's on here but like I said they're all mixed up I eventually decide not to use that um like photo a little mat thing I'm going to use the um this three by four card here and then also add in a floral cluster just kind of pulled a bunch of stuff and I'm going to put it on the layout and see what works I do like this chipboard and that's that chipboard that comes from the pick me up collection it's kind of adding in and creating clusters and they're dark. I've got a little banner up there that says nice, like, you know, nice time um, that she's spending with her. Kind of playing with something in the top left hand corner up there as well. A couple of hearts there. I kind of like that because, you know, she loves her grandma. And then I'm adding in another piece of chipboard from the Pick Me Up collection that says lovely day in the middle of that right page i have a heart and then um a, a vellum piece there that says let's get it girl and some of these things i haven't completely it was from a, a vellum sheet that you were able to cut things apart 
and I have a hard time using vellum. So if I can, if I, it's kind of the same thing I have with acrylics. Sometimes are the see-through pieces. If I can use them, I use them. Because <laughs> I played around a little bit with that, just trying to decide if I liked it or not. So I'm now thinking I might put the clock over here. So playing around with that a little bit. And then just getting this all there we go so eventually I decided I don't want the clock in that cluster but that um, instead I go or the cluster in the middle of the right sheet it goes back on the left side again All right. Okay, just adding that all in there. Okay. And then I've got, sorry guys, I got a little distracted there. I've got all these messages coming through from clients and my boyfriend and all sorts of stuff. So sorry. Anyway, um, they're trying to distract me. I did on the right side, I found that bow die cut, die cut. And I really like that that's bringing out the yellow or the gold color from the left page. So I added that to that top right. So you've got some of that color coming over. I have a little bit of gold in that heart, but I think... The yellow on the other side is so bright. I think that's kind of a nice way to do that. Cool. Then as a finishing touch, I decided I really wanted to add some pearls because this girl's very girly. She also, you know, will make sure her brothers keep in line, but she is a very girly girl. So I wanted to add some pearls. I am trying to use some of these pearls up. So these are from the color book Victorian Parlor Gemstone Accents. They're ages and ages old, but I'm, it's time to get them used up. So if I think of it, I'm going to add them into some more of the layouts that are just about her. Not that she has to have pearls, but, and I also like, they're a little bit larger and I, and I think they you need that on this particular layout because the colors are so dark. They brighten things up. All right, there's the still shot and a couple of detail shots. Hope you're all well, and I'll be back with another layout soon. Bye, everybody. Mm -hmm.